Hello, my name is Oscar, and welcome to the last installment of Under Pressure, the show where I've been showing you how air pressure interacts with the world around us and explaining how it affects everyday objects. For my last video, I have chosen to explain to you why a ball bounces back up. Now in terms of energy transfer, potential energy turns into kinetic energy as you let go, as gravity pulls the ball down and it speeds up. The energy is transferred into the ground once it lands, and then because every action has an equal and opposite reaction, the ball is pushed back up and launches into the air again, bouncing. And that's great, but let's take a closer look at this equal and opposite reaction, shall we? What really happens when the ball hits the ground can be explained by inertia and air pressure. Inertia is the idea that an object in motion will always try and stay in motion, and that's what the ball experiences as it falls. It wants to keep moving down, but the ground is in the way. So let's see the force on the front and back of the ball to get a better look at what happens next. The front of the ball can't keep moving forward because the ground stops it, but the back of the ball keeps pushing down. This causes the ball to squash, as there is nowhere else for the front of the ball to go. Remembering from my last videos, when the area that air is confined in gets smaller, air pressure goes up. Air inside the ball doesn't like how it suddenly has less space, and pushes outwards to expand the ball again. This starts the top of the ball moving upwards again, and with a little help from the ground pushing against it, by the way, the ground pushes up against everything. It's the equal and opposite force to gravity pushing you and me and everything else against it. The ball builds up momentum and starts moving up. Now, you may be wondering why the ball goes straight up again. This is because air pushes on the left and right side to the ball with the same force. And since these forces are equal, they essentially cancel each other out. Right, so there you have it. Air pushes outwards onto a squash ball to expand, and this causes the ball to shoot back upwards again. Thanks for watching this episode, and the others in the series if you have. If not, I recommend them. Great videos they are. If anything I've said at all in these videos has sparked further questions, then feel free to send me an email. Cheers.